Dying Light, the following DLC, is part of the Dying Light Enhanced Edition, or could be downloaded separately if you already own the original Dying Light game. It seems to have been an age since this DLC was announced, but was the wait worth it? The short answer is yes. The following is primarily based in a whole new area of Haran called the countryside. The first word I would use to describe the area is beautiful, closely followed by the word large. This has to be the biggest single open area in Dying Light, and to be honest, it needs to be, due to the addition of a drivable buggy, which you will obtain earlier on within the DLC. The countryside consists of expanses of farmland and drivable roads. This is not to say that your parkour skills will no longer be required, as there are more than enough opportunities to scale high structures. The story in the following is again your typical zombie cheese fest, and to be honest isn't the main reason why you would play this DLC. There are numerous side quests and bounties to complete, but like the story, they are just all enablers for the great enjoyment you will have playing in this wonderful sandbox world. Again, slicing zombies heads off never, never, ever gets old. The biggest hook and the biggest reason to get this DLC is the buggy. If you have played Far Cry games, you will be more than familiar with the first person controls and the feel of the buggy. Like everything else in the game, the buggy can be upgraded. It has driver skills associated to it, and of course you'll need to maintain it. Gaining XP for the buggy is simple enough by performing jumps, stunts, running down zombies, and completing bounties to unlock the necessary upgrade. The next step to upgrading can be slightly more difficult however. The scavenging for car parts and fuel from the bonnets and fuel tanks of abandoned cars is just another great way that you are immersed into this apocalyptic world. The standard buggy parts that you can upgrade range from suspension, engine, tyres etc. You can obtain blueprints and get more skills to craft these and improve their abilities up to five levels. Like the weapons, the parts can only be repaired a limited number of times before you will need to replace them with a newly purchased or crafted part. It has to be noted that while driving in single player, you are unable to fire weapons, but the buggy has some other unique upgrades that can help you with the hordes of zombies. There's a car alarm, reinforced cage, ramming bar, off-road suspension, nitro, mine dispenser and one of our personal favourites, the electric cage, which at its maximum level shocks anything and anyone in close vicinity of the buggy, which comes in really handy if you're being chased by lots of zombies and volatiles. It also comes with a remote control that you can activate when you're not in the buggy. One of our other favourites is the UV safe zone which is upgraded from the, let's be honest, pretty poor UV headlights. The safe zone works on a very similar premise to the electric cage, but as you can imagine, it's only really effective at night or in dark tunnels. You can also apply a range of paint jobs to the buggy and acquire bubble heads for the dash. We are a little disappointed that the game still doesn't have silencers available for your guns, but the addition of the new crossbow has filled the void slightly. There is also the inclusion of a legendary skill tree which will enable you to upgrade a variety of new skills that would turn Kyle Crane into, well, the ultimate badass. The following expansion is free to season pass holders and for everyone else it's just slightly under $20, 20 euros and 16 quid. We believe the DLC is very well priced, but considering that some games are charging almost twice as much for not even a quarter of the content on offer in the following, it makes this DLC look like a steal, and to be honest it is. 
Dying Light, the following DLC, like the vanilla game, has surpassed our expectations and is a great expansion to a great game. We give it a very justified, from zombie lovers, a 9 out of 10.